Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, fighting out of the blue corner this evening, he stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. He weighs in at 146.2 pounds. Fighting out of Bloomington, Illinois, Eric Schmidt. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the ring out of the red corner this evening. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall. He weighs in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Imperial, Missouri, Austin Woodcock. You know it must be serious when you got the boxing glove tattoo. Yeah, you uh, <laughs> you get the boxing glove stamped on you. You're pretty serious about throwing some fists. Referee Mark Wassum definitely getting a workout tonight here at Shamrock FC 297. Jeremy Johnson along with my partner Ryan Sutton live at Lumiere Place Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Quick touch of the gloves. Austin Woodcock in the red tape. Eric Schmidt in the blue. Both of these guys, very good technique to start. Yeah, Eric Schmidt just threw six leg kicks, it looked like. About 40 outside to the inside in a matter of a couple seconds there. Both of these guys look to be in very good shape. Yep. Both. Good combinations. They're coming out of Schmidt. Nice oh. spinning back kick out of Woodcock. Yeah, that was a beautifully timed spinning heel kick. Woodcock's doing a good job. He started to time those outside leg kicks out a little bit better. He started to catch those and fire straight cross. Little stance switch there. Nice low kicks. They're coming out of Schmidt. They're finding a home on that, that thigh. That will get real painful real fast. Yeah, it will. You, you can't eat too many of those. you got to check them. Can't take those for granted because even those inside leg kicks, Schmidt just landed two and then stepped in on a nice straight. Big knees, they're coming out of Woodcock. Straight teep there out of Eric Schmidt. Eric Schmidt fights very traditional Muay Thai. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, Jeremy. A very upright tie stance. Uh, goes low 90% of the time. Nice knees, nice shot. They're off of the catch of the kick. Ten good. seconds. That was a good exchange from Woodcock because he landed a... He landed a big, stiff hook on the way out of that clinch. So, a little bloody shin there from Eric. Schm I'm sorry, from Austin Woodcock. You know, it happens when you take the shin shots. I mean, it's it's part of catching the kick, though. It's what it is. Well, like I said, going low 90% of the time. That's high style. You eat up the calves, you eat up the shins, you eat up the quads. You start tearing those legs up, testing the conditioning of the legs. And then that's when your real big damaging shots start to come to the body and the head. Ring girl Katie doing work tonight here at Shamrock FC 297, live from Lumiere Place Casino. Let's take a look at our instant replay here. Good high kick there out of Austin Woodcock, but again, that Muay Thai style out of Schmidt. It's the quick snap, gets him in the legs every time. But nice work here from Woodcock coming through at the end. Yeah, Woodcock would really turn it on in intervals there. He would uh, kind of lull, lull, and then throw a lot of volume at once. Oh, Schmidt just takes the center and rips two nice outside leg kicks to each side. Woodcock trying to measure here. Does a good job of getting away of getting out of the way of that one. He's doing a good job of catching kicks and firing back afterwards. Here's Eric Woodcock. Schmidt in the blue tape, Austin Woodcock in the red. Woodcock almost playing the role of counter puncher here. Which yeah, unfortunately in the eyes of the judges can be a bad thing unless you've got some really beautiful shots. Yeah, you're yep, you're very right about that. Cuz one thing I was going to note that Eric Schmidt is doing a good job of. He's taking the center a lot. Another trick that sits in the eyes of the judge. You take that center, make the other guy work the outside. Looks like you're establishing dominance. Heavy right hand answered with a shot to the body from Schmidt. Again, little blood coming out of the nose there of Austin Woodcock. Down to just 15 seconds here. Nice sidekick, almost a Taekwondo style. Yeah, that was a good sidekick. Stepped right into it. 
And you'll notice though, look at Schmitz still pressing forward though. Woodcock's backspin to the rope a lot of this round. See if that sticks in the judge's mind. Now, Ryan, if you are in the corner here of Eric Schmidt, what kind of advice are you giving him? You know, I say keep taking the center. Uh, he's getting a little tied up with his kicks. He's kicking Woodcock to the body. And Woodcock is catching him and timing him out a little bit. I'd say just recoil your kicks a little bit quicker. Snap and bring him back. Then maybe look to take a counter shot off that. But other than that, doing really, really well. Uh, you know, if I'm Woodcock this last round, just in case, I would probably, if I'm in his corner, tell him to turn it up a little bit. You know, throw a little bit more volume. You know, don't don't necessarily bank on playing the counter punch, especially if this is a round apiece or it could be two rounds. So let's either. So let's look here, Ryan, at this instant replay again. We see a lot of action out of both fighters, but you see the pressure that comes out of Eric Schmidt. Yes. He's been pressing the action in the fight. I believe so. I believe he's been pressuring and he's also been controlling the center. And there's a lot of redness on the body of Austin Woodcock. See, every round he comes out and takes the center. Now, Schmidt is pressing the action here. His corner told him, you got to push forward. Yeah. But Woodcock's answering. Yeah, now it's, oh, he walked, Woodcock ducked his head, walked right into a straight push kick. That's why you never want to duck your head. Yeah, you cannot try to duck away or try to catch that route. No. You'll end up eating one to the face, and that's a bad what day waiting to happen. Yeah. Schmidt did a good job of eating that outside of the leg of Woodcock up whenever he switched stances there. Again, eats that outside of the leg. Woodcock steps out of, out of the way of danger there. Yeah, Schmidt has been landing that leg kick at will. Oh, again. There, it there it is again. Even if you catch that, that still hurts. Good leg kick there out of Schmidt trying to finish this fight strong. Three in a row. Yep, three in a row. He eats to the outside. The volume and the technique out of Eric Schmidt has been big so far. Yeah, pressured forward. He slipped and he ate a low blow while slipping. Not fun at all. Taking the low blow again here in this contest. Again, a lot of low blows tonight here. You know, we need to hook these boys up with Diamond MMA so they can get out there. You know, you got to have the right protection. Listen, it's been a game changer for me in the gym. Yeah, I switched over to one. But anytime you're throwing this much volume of knees, kicks, even punches, something's bound to go south. Back in the action. Schmidt makes him pay for it, too. But Woodcock turning it on here at the end of the round. Both fighters just throwing for the last 10 seconds. Oh, right there at the oh, end. Oh, goodness gracious. Yeah. That last one hurt. Yeah, right there at the end. He just fired off a low leg kick, and that looked like the one that said, I don't want any more of those on my thighs. Ladies and gentlemen, going to the scorecards uh, this evening, uh, your winner by unanimous decision out of the, the blue corner this evening, Eric Schmidt. Now, Ryan, I got to say that the story of this fight had to be the leg kicks of Eric Schmidt, his pressure forward and the damage that he was able to do. I believe so, yeah.